Hey guys, this is Dinosaur Drawer, and this is a 10,000 subscriber special. Um, I am very, very thankful to everyone who has subscribed, but I must say that there are a lot. Of, I mean, there are still a lot of people that are not subscribed but do watch my videos. So if you like my content, please don't forget to subscribe because you don't know how much it helps me out. So without further ado, let's get into the video. Hey guys, this is Dinosaur Drawer, and this is my 10,000 subscriber special. So, um, I never thought that I was gonna get even close to 1k, and now I'm already at 10k subscribers. And um, I, ca I cannot express how 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 much it means to me. I like, I mean, like, I can't express how happy I am right now. Because I, well, I mean, like I haven't hit ten thousand, ten thousand subscribers yet. But by the time this video is come, this video comes out, I'm pretty sure that I will have gone past the ten thousand subscribers. So yeah, I just want to thank everyone for subscribing. Um, it means the world to me, literally. So yeah, um, before we're gonna start this video, make sure to subscribe if you haven't already and uh, let me know in the comments below what you think about the video and the drawing in general so let's get into the video oh and by the way by the way uh, <laughs> this is what we're gonna be drawing so um, yeah basically what happened was I did not know what to draw I was like I was stuck I couldn't think of anything to draw so eventually I came up with a um, with a, with a scene of a t-rex breaking into the Jurassic World gateway and um, like roaring just like in the intro of Camp Cretaceous but instead of it saying Jurassic Park over the uh, on top of the gate it says uh, 10,000 subs um, but then someone asked me if I could do a new hybrid like I've always done in all of my subscriber special videos and um, at that moment I kind of realized that that was probably the best way to go the best thing to do because I've always done hybrids as my subscriber special and I've improved a lot since my last subscriber special and I decided to try and do something like I never did before. So I did a hybrid of the Indoraptor and the T-Rex. But instead of it just being in 2D like what you're seeing here. This is a failed attempt of a hybrid that I was going for. Um, well, I instead of it just being in a 2D two-dimensional uh, perspective... I decided to do it in a 3D, uh, 3D perspective and uh, I mean like it looks pretty cool in my opinion so he has a couple of row of teeth um, he has features of the Indoraptor but he also has features of the T-Rex he's very big and bulky but he can still use his front limbs instead of just those two little small arms and uh, yeah like I said um, he has two rows of teeth and also he can open his jaw quite wide and you can see that from his uh, Not sure what this is actually called, but this is pretty far back in his mouth Normally it would have been about over here for example in an, on a normal dinosaur it would, it would be over here So if you would draw the open mouth of a dinosaur, let's see. Well, I'll just do this this is kind of what it would look like something like this and in the, on this side so it's pretty far back so you would draw it like this
which is pretty cool in some scenes, I imagine. So yeah, but this is what we're gonna be drawing. I've been talking for almost five minutes now, so uh, <laughs> yeah, let's start. So I'll just quickly try and find a good position for my reference because I want it to look identical to uh, to the one that I drew. So yeah, um, well, let's start with let's draw the area for his mouth, like the uh, the gummy area, like his jaw muscle or something, and then I just go from there. And we will have to erase this later, but don't worry about it right now. So we're just drawing his jaws. This is his upper jaw, and then his lower jaw would be right here because of the, 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 the height that we're standing right now. It looks like his uh, bottom jaw is about the same uh, height as we are. Alright, something like this should be fine. And then you just draw almost like a straight line, like that. And then you draw his big jaw muscle. Something like this. And we're not gonna be drawing his eyebrows because he does not have very big and pronounced eyebrows at all. He has a very unique kind of design I would say because normal dinosaurs have very pronounced eyebrows he doesn't alright so like I said we will have to change this up a little bit because this needs to be farther back like so so we'll just have to erase that line right there Alright, starting to look pretty pretty cool. And then we want to have an eyebrow. Very angry looking. He reminds me a little bit of Venom, in a way. Um, let's refine this a little bit because I'm not really happy with the way this looks right now. what this is called but there's like a an extra hole in the skull of most dinosaurs and you can see a shape like that well actually actually I think I made a little bit of a mistake right here because his eye is supposed way is supposed to be way higher up so I'll have to draw this line almost straight like this and then his eye is supposed to be his eyebrow is supposed to be right there like this and then we have this thing right there There's one of his nostrils and the other one would be right there somewhere. And then he has an another area in his skull right there. Something like this. Alright, this looks pretty accurate. And now we can draw the uh, neck. Like normally it would be attached like this. And we have the muscle coming out it's there somewhere. Um, but first, first we want to refine this, because I don't really like the jawline, and I want to have it as accurately to the, uh, to my reference drawing as possible. So 
and I'm just gonna go over it until I get everything right. And by the way, um, you might be hearing my uh, air conditioner right now and I'm very sorry if you are hearing it but yeah otherwise it would have been too warm too hot in here to draw so yeah so now you want to draw his eye very small tiny eye right there then you want to darken his, his area where his eye is at now it is time to add some teeth so like I said this dinosaur has his teeth just like the Indoraptor but he has multiple rows of teeth and they are very nasty looking to be honest some of them are very long and very uh, very thin and other ones are pretty uh, pretty short but also his teeth go further back than most dinosaurs we can see another row behind there on the other side just barely but then something happens so then he starts we start to draw teeth on top of his jaw right here and um, this is because of the uh, the Indoraptor genes I suppose But also, we want to start drawing lines like this. Like, he has some... Almost like, these are his eyebrows, but they aren't. These are just rows of skills. I want to be sure that you can see this clearly. And then we want to do the same thing on the lower jaw as well. But he has some very nasty looking teeth, to be honest. But I don't think I'm gonna make more rows of teeth on his lower jaw. I do want to make sure that these teeth are not attached to the inside of his jaw, but to the outside. Like this. And do the same thing over here so they are just like scales but instead of scales they come out to be more pointy and be a lot more like teeth Right. So that's the start. And now we want to darken the inside of his of his uh, mouth pretty much.
So you might be seeing a lot of hairs on my drawings, on, on my paper and stuff. Because I have two dogs and... Uh, well, it's very hot right now, so they shed a lot of hair. And uh, yeah, you kind of get the idea. They get everywhere, literally. Alright. Something like this. Alright, that's fine. So now, we want to draw... We want to draw a line that goes directly to his body. And then start drawing his body. So we want to draw his back right here, going like this. Then we want to draw a kind of a sort of a rib cage that's sort of protruding out because of his the fact that his leg is right here. And he is sort of um, standing in such a way. That his leg is sort of starting to face us a little bit. So we can just draw his bone like this. And this would be his foot. And then we want to draw the other foot like this. Alright, and this will be his other foot. So now we will have to start drawing his chest muscles. Actually, I think that his lower jaw is a little bit too big in comparison with everything else. So I'm just gonna go over it and try to change it up a little bit make it look a little bit smaller a little bit better so to be honest it kind of looks like a like a giganotosaurus at this point a mix between an indoraptor giganotosaurus and a t-rex but it is just a mix between the t-rex and the indoraptor so we want to make a curved line right over here so this will be his neck muscle or muscles then we want to have a couple of like curved lines going in like that. So now we want to start drawing his chest. This will be his chest. And then we have his belly right here. And then over here will be his rib cage. Alright, so now we want to have his tail come down like this and just sort of going around like that. That would be fine. And we can start drawing his... Well, let's first just uh, start drawing the, uh, the hands first. So now I will have to pay attention. Because I want to have the 10,000, uh, like the numbers, right here. All next to each other. But 
um, I want to have like one hand going like uh, all right I'll do it this way so I'm just gonna draw this hand first this arm and hand first So you just want to draw a line like that and you want to draw a line like that because it is in a sort of a, a perspective coming towards us. So it looks like this bone is very short but in reality if you turn it around a little bit um, this becomes more like this. So very long. But yeah, we have to pay attention to the perspective in this case. Alright, so you want to draw three knuckles over here and then we also want to draw a thumb coming branching up from his hand like that and let's draw the fingers like this I guess and then you just go over them Put in the claw and then put in the finger paddings. And do the same thing over here until you get to the end. And sometimes they might be overlapping. Just a tiny little bit, but that's okay. And then you just draw the, the rest of his arm in like that. So there we have one arm with one hand. And you, you can just refine it if you don't like the way that it's looking at the moment all right I think this is uh, this is fine for now and I want to have like uh, like right over here let's take my reference here I like this head more to be honest but there's just a, a minor bit of difference I guess Maybe this is supposed to be a little bit more rounded. I think that's it. But um, yeah, I want to have the other hand just like this one on top of one of the uh, numbers. Or, well, zero isn't actually a number, I guess. But yeah. <coughs> Excuse me. All right. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start with drawing the zero right here. I guess. Well, to get it equal, to get every number equal, let's do it with squares or what do you call this? A rectangle? Like the longer <laughs> square, I guess. <coughs> and then we just draw the rounded edges. Like so. And we can just draw in the... Uh... But this is only going to be for this one. Because you don't have to uh, do the actual 10,000 uh, drawing. I'll just be using it because I'm gonna have to put some fingers on it. So I wanna have a claw right here. That's his pinky. And I wanna have his middle finger right here. Pretty long protruding claw. And 
I want to have a finger right here. And I want to have his thumb just barely getting over the edge. Something like this. <clears throat> Alright, this should be okay. And now we can just draw his arm like right there. And his elbow should be about somewhere over here. So that's that's all right. So now let's focus on drawing in his leg. So he has a very big calf muscle that you can clearly see at this point right here. Then he has a bony bump right there. And then he has three toes facing us. So one over here, one over there, and one over there. And then you just draw a line going through, going uh, in the direction of the uh, of the leg, I guess. And over here we want to have an, a side claw, but then you want to draw the claws in right here, and you just draw the uh, bedding. Over here you want to draw a claw like this, and a bump right above it. Of course, you want to have some at the toe that you can see a little bit more, a little bit more clear. And then just do the padding. And that's how you make his foot. Now you just do the same thing for this one, except you cannot really see it because I have the zero, but I can just uh, I could just draw through it because because I don't really need to show you how to draw the the numbers. But yeah, um, so he has a toe. So this is the bone, like what we drew before, and. Um, yeah, let's first just put some flesh around it. And then this comes down like that. And we have a claw right here, which is a little bit wider because it is facing us. So the perspective is a little bit differently. We, we can see two toes. So one over here and one over here. Because he his foot is a little bit face a little bit more uh, angled towards the other side, so we just do the same exact thing like we did with the other foot. Draw a claw like that, and then you just draw the padding, and this claw is angled a little bit more like this. And then over here we have his heel. Well, actually, this is his heel over here, but um, we're just calling it the heel because it's easier to understand, sort of. And then you just draw it like that. And there we have the whole dinosaur. Almost about done, I would say. So, what we will have to do is we can we we should add a little bit of uh, of shading and everything. So first, we're gonna erase all of the unnecessary lines, and I'm gonna go e over every single line with a, a darker pen. Well, I'm not gonna use a darker pencil, but you you should use a darker pencil, or just press down a little harder on your pencil which is what I'm going to be doing. And then you should be fine. 
so this area or this part might be in time lapse. All right, I am back, and now it's time to add some, well, a little bit more detail and uh, shadowing. So, let's start with uh, a couple of. Uh, we have to start on the left side of the paper because otherwise we will be smudging everything, uh, which I will be doing anyway, I think. <laughs> but uh, yeah, <clears throat> all right, so. We want to start with, uh, let's say, the back of his head. Let's do something like this. We want to make it look a little bit more like we have some hard edges. And then we also would like to draw some, um, some armored skin skills or whatever the Indoraptor has on his back. We don't want to go down too uh, quickly or too much. We just want to uh, have it on his back and nowhere else. Well, could also be in his tail of course but that's something we're gonna focus on later so now we want to have a little bit of a shadow casting on his neck right there because of there being a couple of veins so the t-rex has a lot of veins actually and you can clearly see them on the t-rex so we're just gonna be drawing them on this hybrid as well. Something like that. We also, we could also just start with uh, drawing in the rest of his hand and arm. So basically, this is all you should do. to uh, draw his hand. Maybe have a little bit more of a dividing line for his uh, claws. Something like that. But this should be fine. Um, alright, so let's put a little bit of shadow on his chest, just on one side, because we want to have a little bit of lighting on this side, and of course a little bit of shadow on his belly. So I imagine that this is the softest area of the whole dinosaur, because uh, all the other areas are uh, covered with bone and everything. So if you would really have to shoot one and kill a dinosaur for your own safety, just in case, do not aim for bones. <laughs> um, Alright, so this area underneath his hand will also be darkened but not too much already recording for 37 minutes which is quite a long time to be honest all right um so i want to have a little bit of shadow casting on the inside of his shin Right there, and a little bit of casting over there. Shadow casting. And a little bit of the inside of his foot right there. Something like that. I'm 
also I also want to have a muscle on his leg that you can see but I don't want to go too much into it so I'll just leave it like this let's get a little bit of shadow um, on his toes as well but not too much just the, the highest amount of uh, shadow will be at the areas where uh, like the areas where the the uh, limbs or parts are closest together for example for over here but there's also going to be shadow over here as you can see but it will be a lot less intense than right at the area where limbs meet and everything if you if that makes sense so over here we'll have a lot of shadow and of course over here as well I want to draw some muscles on his arm and in his shoulder as well but not too much just a little bit of, of texturing or shadowing right there it's gonna be a lot of uh, darkness right there and then just a little bit of tone on the under side of his hand it's also gonna be a lot of darkness on his other leg that's on the other side but it slowly gets lighter and lighter as we go down because we are gonna start to see highlights And like I said, the area where the parts combine or come together, there's the, the highest amount of shadow. Um, Alright, so that should be fine. And we can just put some lines over it to make it look more like uh, there's a little bit of detail going on oh and by the way his ribs are also supposed to have a little bit of a sh casting shadow but nothing too much Because over here, there's going to be more shadow. Alright, yeah. That should be enough for his ribs. And we can uh, add a couple of uh, spikes on his back. Or osteoderms whatever you would call them and we can do a couple of rows but I wanna have it only on his back so there's nothing gonna be on his tail maybe a little bit on his uh, on his neck as well And of course, these will cost a tiny little bit of shadow, but nothing too much. All 
Alright, that looks pretty awesome. And then we want to have some... Uh, you have to go with the the flow of the uh, of the skin and everything, but we want to have a couple of wrinkles here and there. And this way, we create sort of a look that has a lot of detail included into it. Almost like when you draw trees, you can give it um, some sort of a texture that will make it look like there are a lot of overlapping bark areas and this is uh, similar to that I guess but now we are getting into real uh, slow progressing details so I'll just stop right there and <laughs> uh, just add a couple more little details and then we are sort of finishing up on the drawing well all right so what we still have to do is we have to put some skills on top of the fingers and the toes this way it looks a little bit more finished I hope I'll be done before it start ra starts uh, raining real bad because you will sort of hear it I guess if it starts to rain real bad and we have like the weather uh, predictions saying that we will be in a storm in not too long from now. So I hope I'll be done before the storm starts but yeah <laughs> we'll have to see. So now you want to do the same thing on his toes, the exact same thing. Alright, and then a couple of small ones over there. And yeah, it's starting to come along quite nicely. Um, I could of course use some more skin folding right here at his knee. So that's exactly what I'm going to be doing right now. Creating some skin folds and everything. And from there I just build it up for the rest of his leg so that we have a nice uh, nice looking texture going over his leg as well and just sort of give it this scaly texture right there Alright, starting to look quite nice. We could of course give it a little bit of a uh, scaly texture 
right here, going all the way down to his knee. Okay. That's uh that, that looks good. And um let's not focus too much on his feet because we will not be able to see it very clearly behind the uh the numbers and stuff, but uh well you could give it a little bit more detail, but I'm just not going to bother doing too much for it. So, um, well, now I still have to finish up his head and his tail. So, like I said, I would be doing it anyways. Um, smudging my drawings. Alright. So, yeah. Let's add a couple of details right here just that scaly look I want to make this a little bit sharper as well and have a little bit of shadow inside of this area And then just keep adding those skills right there. And of course add a jaw muscle right there as well. couple of scales right here a couple of big ones as well and then I just want to have that same wrinkly sort of look on this area and just add a couple more details on his head Alright, so now the only thing that we have to finish is his tail and then we are completely done. <sighs> well, for this tutorial at least. So I would like to add a little bit of a center line like that. And like what I used to do with all my older drawings is draw a couple of wrinkles on the tail because it just looks cool. It doesn't have to be perfect, it just, like I said, it, it just gives a cool looking effect. And it also uh, creates a look of detail on the drawing. So this area of the tail will be completely darkened in. Completely dark. Make sure you match the tone of all the other dark spots in the drawing, because otherwise it will just look like it's fading. Normally, this is where I would uh, turn my page a little bit or angle it sideways so that I can have an easier time doing these strokes with my pencil, but this is fine. <laughs> I'm sorry I'm speaking so soft actually, it's because in some way 
I'm trying to focus a little bit better so that I can um, create a little bit of a better looking drawing and um, yeah it makes me in some some kind of trance it, it lets me get into some kind of trance I guess where I'm speaking a little bit softer for some reason like I said I I haven't got a clue actually I'm just concentrating on the drawing and it's hard to concentrate on the drawing and the commentary at, like at the same time so this area of his tail will be a lot darker but not completely dark all right that looks pretty good and I want to have a sort of um, if you look at the tail of an alligator he has some scaly spikes on top of his tail and I want to have to give this hybrid the same sort of feature because it looks cool So we're about done with the tail, which makes us about done with the drawing in general. I kind of messed up the paper right there. So yeah, the thumbnail will sort of look like like the original sketch um, with the 10,000 underneath it, but I will just leave this like this and this is going to be my 10,000 subscribers special. I'll just erase the dirty unnecessary lines over here as well. Just erase everything. So yeah, in my opinion, um, it looks pretty pretty cool. Uh, it doesn't look exactly like the original sketch that I did, but um, I mean, it's decent and it doesn't have to be completely the same. So yeah, if you like the video, leave a like. Uh, comment below what you think about the video and the drawing in general and don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you won't miss a single video. So this was Linus the Drawer and goodbye.